So we have everything now in the car and it's time to drive to Zurich and after that to Italy. Let's go! So we just arrived uh, like 10 minutes ago and we're in a super nice apartment because we rented an Airbnb here. It was the cheapest place we could find in Zurich. And the people are really nice. Everybody was helpful, even though it seemed like nobody uh, locks their door and they all helped us carry the stuff in, which was pretty nice. And uh, yeah, now just drinking some tea. And then we try to get some drone shots because apparently there's a, a mountain or like a small mountain right next to our apartment. And, uh, but we're ready for a shot because our car, believe it or not, it doesn't have an AC. So it was super hot today and we were driving six, six and a half hours and with no AC, so that's, uh, it's time for a show. Today is Monday, it's Monday morning and we are out in the city right now, over there is the lake, it's beautiful, we're gonna capture a little bit of the city because we don't have that many days in Zurich and later we meet the Löw sisters for the first time and we're gonna talk over the things that we're gonna do on Tuesday and Wednesday and prepare the interview, which shots we need and so on. But for now, let's show you in Zurich a little bit. Sie wohl. Hallo miteinander. Hallo, hallo. We are Laura and Fabia Loeb. We are sisters. We have a chocolate manufacturer in Zurich, Switzerland. We are welcoming you here in our production kitchen. where we produce all our delicious chocolates. At first, when we started, we worked part-time besides because we had to build it step by step. And the more we built it, the less we could work for someone else. So when some years ago, we quit our other jobs and went full energy into our business. And our aim really is to achieve freedom somehow, but it should not be on the cost of somebody else's freedom. And that's why our focus is on vegan chocolate. It's not that common in Switzerland, because Switzerland is the country for milk chocolate with all of our beautiful cows. But we um, really think it's now time for something else.
in this course, we want to show you the very basics of uh, different techniques to work with chocolate and uh, to show you that it can, can be quite easy. And the most important thing are very, very good ingredients and also the, the time and the awareness to really um, make it properly. So we really believe that anyone can make great chocolate if you have the good ingredients, a good drive, good motivation and you'll, your dessert will be perfect. Alright, so we're just wrapping up the second day of this course, which has been fantastic so far. Just to show you a little bit of what we have here. These are vanilla clouds covered in tempered chocolate, right? Yeah. And uh, they look beautiful. And there we have these nut chocolate bars. We made them yesterday, just like uh, with different kinds of nuts. Cereals. Cereals. Yes, nuts, dried fruits. Yeah, they're fantastic. I think Lucas and myself, we ate too many already over the last two days. And over here, for instance, we have some jelly. What kind of? Raspberry with rose. Raspberry with rose. Yeah. Rose from Zurich, you said, right? Yes. Yeah, so absolutely delicious and beautiful. And we have one more video to do. This is the muffins. They're still in the oven over there. But at this point, I want to say thank you to the both of you for this incredible course and for all of the great food, of course. <laughs> Check out Love Delights. We leave, a, we leave a link down below. Um, they make absolutely fantastic chocolate. And the course will be coming out at the end of this year. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.